So guys, before this video starts, I just want to go ahead and actually give you a disclaimer to actually create a restore point. So just in case something actually goes wrong, you can always revert back. I also do recommend you guys get an export backup copy of your registry. So simply save a backup copy of your registry as it's always better to have a backup of the registry and save it. Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix any packet loss and hyping issues in games within Windows. So without any further ado, let's jump right into today's video. Alright, so the first step, what you guys want to do is click on Windows and R on your keyboard and type in gpdit.msc and then click on OK. Now within the local group policy editor, what you guys want to do is open up computer configuration, administrative templates, go into network and go into the QoS package scheduler folder. You want to double click on limit resolvable bandwidth and then click on enable and then you want to set the bandwidth limit to 80%. Now click on apply, click on OK. Now you want to go into the limit outstanding packets file, just double click on it. And now you want to click on enabled. And then what you want to do is get rid of this number right here. You guys want to fill this box with four and nine zeros following it. And then hit apply and hit OK. Now you can close out of the group policy editor. All right, so moving on to the second step, what you guys want to do is go into your settings and then go into Windows update. From Windows Update, what you guys want to do is click on Advanced Options, go into Delivery Optimization, and make sure Delivery Optimization is actually disabled. Then you want to go into Network and Internet, go into Wi-Fi or Ethernet depending on what sort of internet connection you use. I personally use Wi-Fi, so I'm just going to click on Wi-Fi, and then click on your internet connection. For me, it's this one. And then make sure to turn on metered connection. Doing so will ensure that Windows does not update automatically while it's on your Wi-Fi, ultimately causing lag and stutter in games. Your ping spikes and you get packet loss because you have this turned off and so therefore I would highly recommend you guys turning this on. Alright guys, so for this next step what you guys want to do is open up control panel, go into network and internet, click on network and sharing center and then you want to click on change adapter settings. The active connection you want to right click on it and click on properties. Then what you guys want to do is copy down this SSID and then paste it on Google. And then you want to download and install the drivers necessary for your computer. For example, you could be using outdated drivers. Alright guys, so next what you guys want to do is actually right click on uh, your Wi-Fi or Ethernet card. And then you want to click on properties and then go into configure. Then go into advanced and then copy down these settings. So under wireless mode, if, you have, if you're using Wi-Fi, you want to set this to A6. And if you're using Wi-Fi again, you want to set this to A4. Then you want to go down to preferred ban. Then select prefer 5 gigahertz ban. Go to roaming aggressiveness and select to lowest. For this option, you want to set this to disabled. For throughput booster, you want to set that to enabled. And then for transmit power, you want to set this to the highest. For UAPSD support, you want to set this to enabled. And then you want to click on OK and then close out of this window. Then what you guys want to do is go back to your control panel. Go into hardware and sound. Go into power options. And then click on change plan settings. Now click on change advanced power settings. Now scroll down and find out PCI Express. Expand it. Click on link state power management and expand that as well. And if you're on a laptop, you would see something like this. So what you guys want to do is turn both of them to off and then hit apply and hit OK. Now close out of this window. Now this next step right here is actually a paid step. But if you guys want the lowest ping, I would highly recommend you guys actually go ahead and purchase a plan of exit lag. So what exit lag does is it would activate a private tunnel, which is the fastest route to actually connect to the server. So therefore it reduces any lag spikes or ping issues. So it's basically creating a separate path for you to access the server, which would reduce any lag or ping issues and connect you to the fastest server possible. So I would highly recommend you guys actually go ahead and buy a plan of exit lag. The pricing will be given in the description box down below. Again, I'm not sponsored to say this, but I can guarantee that this application works flawlessly. Alright guys, so for this next step, what you guys want to do is open up your internet browser. This works for literally every other browser as well. So you want to click on these three dots on the top right hand corner, navigate to settings, and then go into system. And then what you guys want to do is disable both of these. Then you want to open other applications such as Spotify, click on settings and then scroll all the way down until you find hardware acceleration and actually go ahead and disable it. If you do use other applications such as Discord, what you guys want to do is go into the user settings, go into advanced and then disable hardware acceleration. Now within settings, you can also click on network reset and click on reset now just in case your internet is continuously giving issues. But do keep in mind your computer will be restarted right as you click on reset. But I do highly recommend you guys actually go ahead and do this. Now once you've done that, what you guys want to do is click on Windows and R 
and then type in services.msc and now within the services window what you guys want to do is go all the way to windows update you want to right click on windows update and click on properties and then set the startup type to manual and hit apply hit ok there are more unnecessary services running in the background so i would leave you guys a link in the description to download the text file the text file will actually contain all the names of the unnecessary services that you need to disable Alright guys, so what you guys want to do is click on your start menu and type in cmd. Now click on run as administrator. Now once you've opened up a command prompt as administrator, what you guys want to do is just type in these commands. Now once you guys have typed in these commands, what you guys want to do is type in ping google.com. And then you want to observe the timings. So if your timing is on average less than 50 milliseconds, that means your connection is pretty good. And if there's no losses, that means your connection it has no packet loss. Now if your connection keeps giving you losses, what you guys want to do is actually type in CLS and exit out of the command prompt. Now the next step is to scan for any corrupted Windows files. I know this is not related to network, but sometimes because of corrupted Windows files, it would also give you packet loss and ping issues. So to simply do this, open up CMD as administrator. Then you want to go ahead and type in sfc space slash scan now and then wait for the scan to complete this will take a few minutes so you guys want to patiently wait until this process is complete all right guys so once the scan is done what you guys want to do is type in cls and exit out of the command prompt window then you want to go ahead and restart your computer you want to also expand your tray icon and make sure there are no other applications that are running that may be consuming your internet so to double check if your applications are using your internet all you will need to do is open up your task manager from there you want to click on network and then you would see all the applications that are actually using and utilizing your internet connection make sure this arrow is actually pointing upwards so that way it would show you all the applications that are using your internet in descending order Alright guys, so what you guys want to do is go ahead and open up Windows Store and click on settings. And within the settings, what you guys want to do is actually go ahead and disable app updates, disable autoplay videos, and also disable offline permissions. And then close out of this application. Alright guys, so for this next step, you want to actually download this registry file from the link in the description. So once you've actually downloaded it, what you guys want to do is open up the file and double click on this and click on merge. Now once you're prompted with this, you want to click on yes and click on OK. So for the next step, what you guys want to do is actually open up CMD as administrator. Now you want to go ahead and type in ipconfig and actually determine what your IPv4 address is. So for me, for example, for me, I use Wi-Fi. So for example, if you use Ethernet, it will show up under Ethernet. For me, I use Wi-Fi, so it shows up under Wi-Fi. So like, for example, I have IPv4 address right here. So what you want to do next is actually go into the description and then copy down this address. Then you want to click on view and enable address bar. Then paste this address on the address bar. Then you will come into this folder right here. And within this folder, you will see many subfolders. So what you guys want to do is go into the folder that contains your IPv4 address. For example, you want to go ahead and navigate and see where your IPv4 address is in each of these. For me, it's in this folder right here. So as you guys can see, it's right over here. So then what you guys want to do here is actually go ahead, right click and click on new and then click on divert 32-bit value. And then go ahead and type in TCP no delay, double click on it, set the value to one and click on OK. Then you want to add a new dword 32-bit value and name it TCP ACK frequency. Then you want to double click on it as well. And as the value data, you want to set it as one. Click on OK. Now you can exit out of this. However, if you guys do use Windows 10, you guys want to go into background apps within settings and actually disable background apps. So that way no application is actually consuming your internet while you're gaming. So with that being said guys, and I hope this video helps your packet loss and ping issues and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you did, please make sure to stomp on the like button, comment down below for any queries, questions or suggestions for any future uploads. Hit that red subscribe button with the naughty bell right next to it to always stay tuned for any future uploads. With that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Until then, stay safe and take care.